It's a school for boys with a dark past, but in a matter of weeks, scientists will once again investigate the grounds at the former Dozier, Dozier School for Boys. Our state capital reporter, Forrest Saunders, spoke with former students who are now thankful to see the state is finally taking action. My name's Charles Fudge. Roy Connerly. James Michael DeKnight. These three are searching for something not easily found at the former Dozier School for Boys, closure. For a lot of us, there'll never be closure. They're former students at the facility. Many more have come forward saying staff abused children here in a small building dubbed the White House. Just physical abuse by these almost six foot, 200 pound men. If I knew I could not handle another beating, like I had endured. Decades later, now members of a support group, the White House boys are feeling closer to the justice they seek. We've been fighting for this for the last 10, 11 years. A new investigation starts next month on the property. Researchers from the University of South Florida will look at 27 anomalies discovered during pollution cleanup. Everybody is stepping up to the plate. Many are wondering if there are more graves of students. Dozens were unearthed here in 2015, kids dying under mysterious circumstances in state custody. Some think criminal wrongdoing was afoot. It's more probable than not. We've already seen things that were they're not right. State officials will see what anthropologists discover before considering criminal investigations. Perhaps they'll find answers to the school's many questions and take these men a step closer to closure. I will never have closure completely but I'm better than I was 10, 15, 20, 30 years ago. For Saunders, ABC Action News.